Welcome back Turtle Whispers and in today's video we're going to be talking about what you need as essentials as a turtle keeper, so stay tuned. Okay, so in my room here I have a selection of different things which I keep for turtle keeping, okay, which I'm just going to kind of share with you guys. So here in the turtle room I have a selection of things I keep for turtle keeping, okay, which I find essential. Now this isn't a sponsored or endorsed video, however if you do fancy sponsoring or endorsing channel, get in touch. So firstly what you're going to need is a nice, big, beautiful tank, okay, you need somewhere for your turtles to live. So what you want to do is instead of buying a small tank, medium tank, then a big tank when they're finally older, just get a nice big tank to start with, or tub, or whatnot, just so it just, it's just cheaper, okay? It saves you a few pennies, and you can spend it on other turtles if you like, like secure here. But buying a tank doesn't need to be expensive. You can get, if I'll just show you over here, tubs, okay? And tubs, uh, plastic tubs are another way of keeping turtles, okay? It's a lot cheaper than a glass tank. Saying that, Willie is getting a new tank hopefully next week. He's getting a nice six foot glass tank, so that's gonna be absolutely amazing. I'm gonna try and aquascape it and everything so it looks proper pucker and hopefully he enjoys it. Probably wrecks it within five minutes knowing him. Now what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have a basking area, okay? Now this can be a built-in one like I have here with like the kind of stones on top, okay? I bought this quite a while ago before I was as knowledgeable about turtles as I am now, okay? Do not put stones, okay? It is little gravel, they will try and eat them. So every week when I do the water change, I have to collect them off the bottom and make sure that there's nothing in there for them to choke on. But yeah, you can get a built-in one like this, or if I take you over to Willie's enclosure, you can get a nice turtle dock, nice floating zoom -ed turtle dock, okay? Doesn't have to be zoom -ed. Okay, they all work, but all turtles need an area to clean, clean? They all need an area to dry off, okay? And what that does is it enables them to dry off, go sunbathing and soak up the UV rays. And that just helps with their shell. Some species bask a lot more, but it is crucial that you provide this for all, all different turtles, okay? All turtles need to be able to get out of the water and dry off. Having said that, okay, so having said basking areas, we want to now look into basking light. So as you can see, I've got a nice strip light, okay, up here somewhere. Okay, nice tube UVB light and a heat lamp. So you can do them separately, or if I show you over there, hopefully you can see the light just, just here somewhere. And that is a two-in-one bulb, okay. And what that does is it does the UVB and heat lamp. Now it's up to you, whatever you would prefer, okay. So if you would prefer the kind of Two different pieces go for that if you prefer the single bulb the single bulb is slightly more expensive but it's a lot there's less less wires less just, just less mess essentially but they both did the same thing i won't go into too much detail but you need you need the right lighting okay for your turtle shell to grow i need to be able to absorb the uv rays and always make sure you're buying from a reptile brand so if i luckily have this here Okay, you can see uh, Arcadia, they're a nice rep reputable brand in the UK, so I'd advise maybe taking a look at them, just don't get the knockoffs because they can be fatal because sometimes their temperature won't regulate properly and yeah, say no more. Now what we have here is a filter, okay, a nice all pond solution 1000 EF filter, okay. Now, you always want to have a filter to keep your water nice and clean. It just clears up all the rubbish because we all know turtles are one of the messiest pets you can keep, okay? They do their toilet business where they eat and sleep. Pretty nasty if you think about it. But what this does is it keeps your water nice and oxygenated, keeps it clean, okay? And you want to have a filter that's about three times the size of your tank which means I'll probably need a bigger filter for the new tank that's coming in now I'm thinking about it. That's gonna cost, isn't it? But, or you could stick two filters in, but that's quite a lot. Always buy a nice reputable filter as well, all pun solutions. Again, this isn't a sponsored video, but check them out, okay? I use them. I haven't had any problems. Can't really complain. 
Okay, so what I have here is food. Now we all love food, okay? So do our turtles. Okay, so I have some koi pellets, some wheat gem pellets. Now that just helps with shedding. I wouldn't feed them that all the time. This is one of my main staple diets for the turtles, okay? Just turtle sticks from, forgive me if I say this wrong, where's the bread? Hikari, Hikari reptile fish food. That's one of the main pellets that I use. Okay, I have got others, as you can probably see, down on my little shelf, you can see bits here, like King British, and some other more hatchling-based food for when they were smaller. Now, as long as you go with a variety of pellets, okay, a bit of veg, some live, live critters, okay, some live bugs like mealworms, crickets, locusts, you cannot go wrong, okay? Just a nice varied diet, your turtle will thrive. Okay, banging. And um, also throwing a little cuttle bone. I don't know if you can see that big white thing at the back of the tank somewhere here. Okay, just a nice bit of cuttle bone to supplement, give them a bit of extra calcium, keep their shells in a nice condition. That's all you can ask for. Okay, so now we was on food. Okay, I recommend a pair of tongs. Now, tongs, I keep these because one, I do not want my finger being taken clean off, okay? Especially if you used to keep things like a common snapper or an alligator snapper, okay? Just nice and handy, just when feeding your turtles. Some people can hand feed their turtles, okay? I have with the Japanese pond turtles, I can hand feed them if I wanted to. I'm not really interested in trying it with Willie because I think he would, well, you've all seen him hunting, hopefully. He's pretty incredible. It's even just with pellets that don't even move, he will just, they've just gone in seconds, not even a second. So yeah, tongues are always, always nice to have, okay? Just put your mind at ease. You don't have to be scared of putting your hand in the toes. What have we got here? We've got Sakura saying hello. Loves a bit of attention, doesn't she? Okay, so next we have a siphon. Now, these are so useful when cleaning out your turtle tanks. I don't actually see how you could do it without one. But what essentially it does, if you don't know, is it will pick up the leftover rubbish on the floor, toilet rubbish, leftover food, all the just kind of manky stuff at the bottom, just to keep your tank nice and clean. It'll suck all that up, okay, when you're doing your weekly water changes. You can get electric ones of these, okay, I think they could be quite expensive. I haven't actually had a look, but it could be worth looking into, especially if you've got multiple turtles and you want to just do the water changes as quick as possible, because it's not the be best and most fun bit of doing keeping turtles. But it is, just on, a, just on another note, it is a good chance to just like pick your turtle up, check kind of the turtle to make sure it's doing okay. Okay, that doesn't mean like giving it a pet on the head, it just means checking the shell, making sure there's no like fungal infections or shell work coming through. There shouldn't be if you're keeping your tank clean. So get get yourself one of these. Get, get them down the local like aquarium store or something for a couple of quid. Not, not expensive. Don't have, to, don't have to go electric. And my last bit of advice, is a metal scourer. Now this is a lifesaver, okay, when it comes to algae. Literally, you will just put that on the glass, rub it a little bit, algae's gone. You cannot complain, okay? Literally, you can get these from your local shops, local supermarkets and everything for like, I don't know, 50p a pound. I'm not sure what it'd be in dollars or anything, but just, if you, if you don't like the look of algae, literally just stick it in your tank, rub it, it's gone. Simple as, seconds. Anyway, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed. Okay, go comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. I just want to say thank you. We hit 250 subscribers yesterday, so I was over the moon. Your support means everything to me. That's why I do the channel. I try and help you with your turtles. Okay, it's always good to see the turtle hobby growing, especially here in the UK and abroad. Okay, turtles are cool and awesome pets. I don't know what that sound was, but... Just treat them right, can't go wrong. And I'll see you in the next video.